July the 7th, 2017. Good morning, my beautiful, wonderful, precious brothers and sisters. I miss July the 7th. It's Friday, 2017. To God, the Father Almighty, be the honor, the praise, and the glory, and the Spirit, and the Bride. Say come. Good morning, everyone. Gather around this morning. Pull up a chair, stop what you're doing, and uh, let me know in the comment section below what are you going to share with Pastor Dave this morning. I've got uh, a little bit of my coffee with cream. Can you see? I don't want to spill it. Last time I did this, I spilled it. Cream <laughs> and no sugar. Let me know. Start typing in the comment section below what are you going to share this morning with Pastor Dave. Hang on, hang on. All right, I'll be in the city of Flint today, Detroit, tomorrow, with our ministry and outreach to the homeless, but uh, a sense of urgency, a sense of urgency to come on this morning and uh, to talk about earthquakes. A lot of talk about the sign of Revelation 12, September 23rd of this year, and that's uh, coming up. But I'm here to tell you this morning but through my studies and to understand the book of Revelation, to really understand the book of Revelation that I've preached on this so many, numerous times, you've got to really have an understanding of the Old Testament, almost to have it memorized by heart, to really understand, have that deeper working knowledge of the Old Testament to understand, and the New Testament to understand the book of Revelation, and I know, that I know, that I know, that when the sign in Revelation 12 appears, if this is indeed the sign spoken of in Revelation 12, come September 23rd, the church will not be here, the church will be already taken. I report quite often, and I'm watching the earthquakes, we had a massive earthquake in Montana yesterday and the Philippines 6.9 death and uh, destruction. I watch the earthquakes because I believe how the Lord works by studying the Old Testament, the New Testament, but an earthquake, a mega major earthquake will trigger the rapture of the church. Let's go over some earthquakes uh, just this morning, uh, July the 7th, 2017. I got my notes and that's why I have my glasses on. This morning, a 5.2 earthquake in the uh, Bellany Islands, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake in uh, New Guinea, a 4.9 earthquake this morning in Chile. And it's only 8.12 a.m. in the morning. The reason I'm talking about earthquakes today, I believe that is a major, major trigger point, a massive earthquake to trigger the rapture of the church. And if September 23rd, if, that's a big if, giant if, I'm going to put it right here, if this is the sign in Revelation 12, we will not be here come September. Why do I watch? Or the earthquakes, let me take you to scripture. And let's see how God uses earthquakes. Let's go to 1 Kings, the 19th chapter, the 11th verse. And he said, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, a great earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. Let's continue on to verse 12. And after the earthquake, a fire. But Yahweh was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still, small voice. That still small voice. That still small voice. 
I can feel the sense of urgency. I can feel sadness. I can feel sorrow of what is about to take place. How when the church is taken and the restrainer is removed and the church is taken, so many that will have to be refined through the fire of great tribulation. I look back and I study, and I study the scriptures, the Old Testament, the New, the Book of Revelation, when I hear what the Spirit says to the seven churches. And I see how many of these seven churches are in the world today, and how only one, the Philadelphia Church, the Philadelphia Bride, is the only one that's going to be found worthy to escape all of these things that are to come upon the whole world world. You've got to come out of religion. You've got to come out of the, the church that bows down to statues and Mary worship. You've got to come out of the prosperity gospel of the church that thinks it's rich and in need of nothing but is blind and naked. Let's continue on because that time is upon us. When we talk about earthquakes, before I continue on, I just I just go as the Holy Spirit guides me. The birth pains were triggered with the 9.0 earthquake and giant tsunami that hit Japan and crippled the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear facility. We had Christ Church New Zealand, that's how it began in 2011. Landslides, earthquakes, mudslides earthquakes in diverse places and they're ramping up today. Look at Montana, Yellowstone, mass animal die-offs, birds falling out of the sky, millions of fish washing ashore, a cattle dropping over dead. That was the beginning. And we're at the time. We're at the time right before tribulation begins and the Antichrist comes on the world stage. Could this be any time now before September 23rd. Let's continue on with uh, earthquakes in the King James Bible. From the book of Isaiah, the 29th chapter, the sixth verse, thou shalt be visited on the Lord of hosts with thunder and with a great earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. From the book of Zechariah, the 14th chapter, the 5th verse, And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azal. Yea, ye shall flee, like as ye fled from before the great earthquake in the days of the king of Judah and the Lord. My God shall come, and all saints with thee. Let me continue on to one we uh, know very well. From the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, the 7th verse. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Here's one that's very important. Here's one that is very important. I want you to listen to me now. Matthew 27, verse 54. Now when the centurion and they that were with him, watching Jesus, saw the great earthquake, and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, truly, this was the Son of God. When Yeshua, Jesus, gave up the ghost, there was a massive, great earthquake, and the veil was rent, and the ground shook. There was such a shaking that the graves opened, and the dead rose out of the grave. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. I think this is going to be a repeat of Matthew 27, 54. Matthew 28, verse 2, And behold, there was a great earthquake again. This is at the resurrection. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. Luke 21, 
verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall be from heaven. The book of Acts, the 16th chapter, the 26th verse, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. You see how Yahweh, Father God, uses earthquakes and wind and fire. From the book of Revelation, the eighth chapter, the fifth verse, and the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and a great earthquake. Revelation, the 11th chapter, the 13th verse. And the same hour was there a great earthquake. And the 10th part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men, 7,000 and the remnant were frightened and gave glory to the God of heaven. Give glory to the God of heaven today because his son is coming quickly. Revelation chapter 11 verse 19 reads, And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and a great earthquake and great hail. I want to read one more. There is, I could just continue on and on how God uses the wind, the fire, and the earthquakes. Revelation 16, 18. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings, and there was a great, a great earthquake, such as what not, was not since man were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake. And so great. And I could continue on and on and on. If indeed September 23rd, if, again, a question mark, if this is the, the sign, Revelation 12, the church will not be here. I know we are not here at that point. I know we are not here at that point. I'm going to close with, uh, leave me comments, I'm going to close with uh, ministry announcements. Uh, we had one anonymous offering to our ministry, a person which is, wishes to remain anonymous, and Cora, a precious gift of $25 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. I'll put all of the links below. I love you. Be good to one another today. Be ready. Get your house in order. Do what is pleasing a holy God when the time has come the bridegroom he cometh God bless you today leave me comments all the links to our ministry and outreach I'm doing the very best I can will be below God bless you